सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड विद वन इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज सर्क्युलर टाइम शिफ्ट प्रॉपर्टी फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल थ्री सम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डी एफ टीज वर पेंडिंग सो वन प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन अलॉन्ग विद वन एग्जाम्पल प्रॉब्लम हाउ टू सॉल्व दैट वी हैव सीन इट ओके विदाउट कंप्यूटिंग डी एफ टीज एंड बाई यूजिंग द प्रॉपर्टी सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज सर्क्युलर फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्ट प्रॉपर्टी इफ यू नो टाइम शिफ्ट टाइम शिफ्टिंग दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्टिंग इज वेरी इजी जस्ट इनवर्स प्रोसेस ऑफ टाइम शिफ्टिंग ओके इन इन हाउ यू डू द आई डी एफ टीज राइट कन्वर्ट कंप्यूट आई डी एफ टी सिमिलर वे यूजिंग द सर्क्युलर टाइम शिफ्ट यू शुड बी कन्वर्टिंग फॉर सर्क्युलर फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्ट ओके सो दिस इज लेट सी द फॉर्मुला एंड वन क्वेश्चन एज यू सीन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन एंड गेट्स गेट एन आइडिया अबाउट दिस सर्क्युलर फ्रीक्वेंसी शिफ्ट so circular frequency shift property is the next property the this property says that dft of x of n into e power plus j okay as we have in idft e power j 2 pi n m divided by n where this m stands for again the number of shifts in a frequency domain okay that is equal to capital x of k minus m okay I have told you right. In place of a frequency shift, we are having k minus m. So x of capital X of k minus m is equal to this for circular frequency shift. Okay. One change is that in circular time shift, we are having small letter x, and here we are having the DFTs. For that, we are doing the inverse DFT. So that's why it is capital X. Okay. This is one change which you need to be remembering in the question when they mention. Okay. Yeah. So this is frequency shift. Let us see one question and uh, analyze this circular frequency shift. So the question is now again the same question. G of n and h of n are two sequences of length six. Okay, so we can say that uh, they are uh, six point DFTs basically. Okay, are two sequences of length six. They have six point DFTs. G of k and h of k respectively, as uh, mentioned in the previous question. The same way till now it's clear. The sequence they have now they have given the G of n sequence. In the previous uh, uh, video, we had the sequence capital G of k. Now they have given G of n is equal to 4.1, 3.5, 1.2, 5, 2, 3.3, 6.0. Okay, G of n. The DFTs of G of k and H of k are related by the circular frequency shift. As yeah, in the they are mentioned CFS. Sometimes they won't be mentioning directly. They would be giving you the relation. Okay. so in this video i'm just mentioning which property because we are discussing only one problem uh, related by cfs stands for circular frequency shift as the relation is given as h of k capital h of k is equal to capital g of k minus 3 where in place of m we have 3 so again we have here capital so we can uh, say that this you should be using circular frequency shifting and solving it okay find h of n without computing dft okay just use this formula and find very easy what we are uh, what we know that in the question what is given h of k is given as g of k minus 3 okay now use the circular frequency shift property and uh, write the uh, uh, particular equation that is h of k would be converted to h of n is equal to g of n into e power plus j 2 pi n and in place of m what we are having 3 right So two pi n three divided by six. That is length of the sequence. They have given it as six. So here we are writing it as six in the denominator. So two threes are six, and here we have six. So two three six would be getting cancelled. We are left with only h of n is equal to g of n into e power j pi n. Okay. So this is the equation for this. We should be substituting the different values of n from. Uh, Zero to n minus one, that is six minus one is five. So firstly, h of zero, that is for n equal to zero, we should be finding the values. G of zero into e power zero. So that is equal to what is g of zero? The first term is four point one into e power zero is one. So h of zero would be equal to four point one itself. Okay. Next is for n equal to one. H of one, that is g of one. Into e power j pi into one, so that is what is g of one here? Three point five into e power j pi. Okay, so h of one would be equal to three point five into e power j pi. Okay, 
that is in this equation one change is here in place of minus now it would be plus why because here we have plus power positive power right so that's one change now for this calc press and uh, write the value of a here in place of here we have in theta we have pi so the value we got here is minus 1 okay so h of 1 would be equal to minus 3.5 okay similarly find h of 2 3 4 and 5 next for n equal to 2 h of 2 is equal to g of 2 into e power j 2 pi okay so h of 2 is equal to what is g of 2 g of 2 is 1.2 into e power j 2 pi now so in place of theta we have 2 pi now the value of a is 2 pi so it is plus 1 so h of 2 would be equal to 1.2 similarly for n equal to 3 now h of 3 is equal to g of 3 into e power j 3 pi h of 3 is equal to what is g of 3 from the given question it is equal to 5 right 5 into e power j 3 pi so now in place of a the value is 3 pi it is minus 1 so h of 3 would be equal to minus 5 for n is equal to 4 h of 4 is equal to g of 4 e power j 4 pi h of 4 is equal to what is g of 4 it is equal to 2 into e power j 4 pi now where the value of a is 4 pi plus 1 so h of 4 is equal to 2 so finally for n is equal to 5 h of 5 is equal to g of 5 e power j 5 pi g of 5 is equal to 3.3 .3 into e power j 5 pi so in place of a the value is 5 pi it is minus 1 so h of 5 is equal to minus 3 point so like this we have got all the values okay for uh, h of n so let us write all of them one by one first is h of 0 h of 0 is equal to 4.1 h of 1 is minus 3.5 h of 2 is 1.2 h of 3 is minus 5 h of 4 is 2 h of 5 is minus 3.3 .3. so this is our sequence h of n which you have got using circular frequency shift property okay so yeah these were the two properties uh, which i have uh, wanted to discuss so that's all for this uh, video guys we have discussed uh, in our previous video circular time shift property and in this video uh, circular frequency shift property along with uh, one example uh, we have compared the sim uh, similarities and the differences between two of them how to solve it how the question would be appearing and how we should be analyzing the question and solving it okay so those who have not uh, seen this video and those who have skipped this video so I was suggest to all to please watch this complete video because these problems are very important it would be appearing for exam for sure either time shift or pre frequency shift okay so these two are just one simple problems so in our upcoming session in this uh, circular time shift and frequency shift we have some more uh, uh, kinds of problems which are uh, very interesting and very important ones okay very easy you can understand it that we are going to see in the next session okay so that's all for this session guys like share subscribe to our channel support us spread this channel to a huge number do share these videos guys do share our playlist because these kind of videos are uh, uh, very important for you guys for example so yeah that's all thank you